Alright, hey there everybody, this is Florida Man Outdoor here, and today we're going to be covering uh, radio cloning with the Astro CPS. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this, go ahead and open up a CPS window. And while you're doing that, go ahead and make sure that the radio that you want to clone to is uh, plugged into its programming cable and turned on. And we're going to go ahead and come in here and open up the code plug that you want to clone to the radio. So this, say like this radio is one that you just updated the flash code on and it's blank and you want it to interoperate with the other radios that you have or that your group has. So you're gonna go ahead and open up the working code plug for a radio that you've already got, you know, got going, it's already working. Once you open up that code plug, you don't have to do anything. Uh, with it except for come over here and go to tools we're gonna go to cloning and today we're gonna do the clone wizard I find uh, th there's like three different settings I've, I've used them all I find that the clone wizard works the best especially for um, with with the features that you're trying to clone over all these different ones will clone like different features of the radio and alter different settings in the radio as you clone it um, so go ahead and just click on Clone Wizard. This is the one that I found that works the best most of the time for this. Go ahead and make sure you got, uh, this should auto, if, if it's a conventional uh, flash code, it'll go ahead and auto to, uh, to conventional only. And you can select for the flash, uh, not flash code, the, uh, the cloning to uh, automatically increment the MDC ID and the Astro IDs uh, for the uh, Astro identities or personalities. Um, but I'm not going to do that for this. Go ahead and click next. And this is going to load real quick. This shouldn't be a long video actually. This is a fairly easy process. This is what I do to make sure that all my radios have exactly the same programming on them. And there's uh, no issues as far as like settings or frequencies getting mixed up because it is a huge pain in the ass to have to program like every radio individually. So this is the information for the radio from this code plug. We want to go ahead and click uh, read radio IDs. And this radio I have plugged in is already programmed. I'm just using it for this example. So it's going to probably auto populate. Yeah, it's going to just go ahead and auto populate the um, settings that I already have in it. Um, but you can change these right here if you wanted to. If you wanted to change this to, you know, like, whatever you wanted, it, it, you could change it to that. But today, we're gonna keep it there. That's like what I would type in if I was cloning to this radio and this was gonna be, you know, the soft ID and the username and the radio ID alias. Um, you can't change the serial number from here. You have to do that through the flash code update like my last video. And then right here you can um, alter what radio IDs you want in it for the Astro systems. Uh, these are the ones that are already in it. Like I said, this radio is programmed. I'm just using it as an example. But if, uh, if, if you selected before for it to auto increment, it would automatically increment these uh, plus one from this code plug that you are selecting to clone from. Um, so as I said, this is already programmed and all this is already set. So I don't need to mess with any of this. But if you didn't want it to auto increment and you wanted to automatically assign um, Astro system IDs um, to this you would have to you know type them in right here or right here for each Astro system uh, MDC system that's typically not something you're going to use and the DTMF system is also typically not something you're going to use unless you're like using talk groups and things like that so uh, once you do that all you're going to do right here is click program pretty simple and straightforward this is going to load real quick. And there we go. The right was successful. You basically have just cloned this 
Uh, you know, if, if you were doing this for real, this would have been a blank radio that's just been, you know, like in my last video, you just updated the firmware and the flash code on a radio and it's just unprogrammed and there's nothing in it. So you would basically just, like I said, open up your working code plug for another radio and then just do this whole process and everything would be copied over the same. And you just click OK here. And from this point, you can go ahead and just close out of this window. And you can close out of this window. And then what I would actually do is uh, after cloning that radio, all the information is now on it. And you're going to want to save that. So you would actually come over here and you would read this radio. It's going to take just a minute. I, you know, for me, hypothetically, but for you, you just clone the radio. Like I said, now you're going to close out of that code plug that you had cloned from to this radio. You're going to close out of that, and then you're going to read this radio. And then you would just come in here, and you would file, save as, and you would save this code plug, and you'd be ready to go. Uh, from there, you would load your... Uh, it, cloning isn't going to clone over your encryption keys unless you are using the software-based... Um, if you're using just the uh, the normal, like 80, if, if, if you had ADP encryption enabled, just the software-based ADP encryption, it would clone over, or it should. I've had it before where it hasn't cloned over the ADP keys that are just configured through the multi-key list. Um, I'm running AES on these radios now, so uh, you can't clone over AES keys. Um, you have to individually, you would have to now, you know, plug this radio into your key loader and then load your keys or your container of AES keys to this radio. And then you'd be ready to go all the way around. Well, I hope this helped, guys. This is a fairly quick video, but um, I know that hopefully it helps some people out because I know that I definitely programmed a handful of radios before figuring out how to use the clone feature. And I wish I didn't do that. So um, check out my other videos. Subscribe if you want to. Send me a message uh, at Florida Man Outdoor on Instagram. If you have any questions, I don't really keep up with the comments and things on YouTube. Instagram's the best place to get a hold of me. So do that. Later, everybody.